Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick video on veins and arteries. Um, when we were in our um, class, the one of the hardest part for me to know, uh, to understand, and to study and to memorize was the arteries. Um, not so much the arteries, but more so the veins, and that's because. I don't know if you you know you've seen a picture in the in your book and you just have so much branching off to supply you know different parts of the body and it can get confusing and a little bit overwhelming. So what I've done not um, like I said I didn't have much of an issue with the arteries because um, there there's only a certain amount of arteries. There's much more veins than there are arteries in the body. So um, arteries are pretty self-explanatory, um, but we'll talk. We'll tackle that first. Um, I kind of wanted to share with you guys, like um, I guess, little mnemonics um, and abbreviations for certain um, arteries of the body to make it easier. Um, the first one that I wanted to start with is the thoracic aorta, um, and obviously arteries supply blood to a specific part of the body. Um, so, and because it's all flowing um, towards gravity, it's easier to pump blood towards those specific parts of the body versus trying the like the like the veins pumping or trying to get back you know blood to the heart it's it's more difficult and you need more of them because you're working against gravity so um obviously you need more of that and, uh, and muscles have a lot to do with blood being pumped back into the the, the heart um going back aortic uh thoracic aorta has, um, there are several branches of the thoracic aorta, bronchial arteries, um, esophageal arteries, pericardial arteries, intercostal arteries, and suprafrenic arteries. Um, and what I came up with is BP is phrenic. Maybe if I show you the picture, you know what I'm thinking. So... I don't know if you can see that, but it says BP is phrenic. Um, and even though it doesn't necessarily make sense, but it actually helped me out because it was kind of like, it didn't make much sense, but because it was, I don't know, it just stood out on the day of the test, I'm like, oh, I can remember that. So anyway, um, BP is phrenic is for the thoracic aorta. So again, you have bronchial arteries which supply blood to the bronchi and bronchioles of the lungs, esophageal arteries, which supply blood to the esophagus, um, pericardial arteries that supply blood to the pericardium, which is the sac that holds the heart, um, intercostal arteries, which supply blood to the intercostal muscles, a portion of the spinal cord, and the upper back. Um, superphrenic, a superior phrenic artery supply blood to the diaphragm. Also note that the inferior phrenic artery supplies blood to the um, diaphragm as well, but that's actually considered to be in the um, abdominal cavity in, um, in that case. Um, the next one that I wanted to cover was abdominal aorta. And in the abdominal aorta, there's a lot of arteries coming off. You have three unpaired arteries, meaning that's only one coming off of the aorta. Um, and one of them is the celiac trunk, which divides into three branches, the left gastric artery, the common hepatic artery, and the splenic artery. And, um, this one was not so much of a, um, I didn't, I just put on here, left gas common hepasplenic. Um, again, but it didn't make much sense, and it pretty much says the name there, you know, 
So L gas comma HEPA splenic. Let me show it to you here. So, yeah. The next one that I wanted to share with you was the five paired arteries um, of the abdomen cat uh, cavity or the um, abdomic, abdominal aorta. Um, Inferen suprarenal gonor lumbar. Inferen supra renal gonna lumbar it sounds cool i don't know what it is about it but it sounds cool and it's stuck again but actually one of my friends came up with girls i didn't see that coming i, I you know after looking at it i didn't i didn't figure out that it, um the acronym you know is girls but i'll show it to you again um again i'm gonna tell you what the arteries are it's um inferior phrenic artery which supplies blood to the diaphragm um, suprarenal arteries, which supply blood to the adrenal glands, and renal ar arteries, which supply blood to the kidneys. Gonadal arteries, there's testicular arteries for men and ovarian arteries for women. And then lumbar arteries, which supply blood to the spinal cord and to the lower back. Um, uh, again, here it is. Can you see it? Uh, it, I have that one and then I have girls. It's not in the same order. Um, but again, based on the lo based on the name, you can kind of figure out what, what a, you know, the location. Um, unless your teacher gets really specific and, you know. But those are little mnemonics that kind of help me out as far as to um, remember all the arteries of the body, um, especially um, the veins, but the, what I just covered now was arteries. The next thing that I wanted to cover was the veins. The veins, I didn't necessarily come up with any mnemonics or any um, acronyms for them. What I did do was, because it was so confusing, there's so many of them, this is what I did do. Now, your book might have actually a chart, but like I've said in my previous video, writing helps you to understand a lot more instead of just, you know, to stare at a page. So, um, writing it out and kind of without looking at the book and trying to imagine it in my head Help me out a lot. Help me out a lot more. So what I did, I kind of did like a little flow chart of um, all the veins, and I sectioned it out. So in here, I have arms all the way to here, and then from the arms, you got the brain. Well, I kind of try to make it to where it connected. So I didn't want to have like a, a arm here and then and then go on to like the leg veins I didn't want to do that because then you, you you're gonna mess yourself up so I did the arms and from the arms you um, easily can connect it to the brain so um, then I followed it with the brain um, and then I did a flow chart flow chart on that based on every teacher might be different so they're gonna want you to know different um, um, they might just want you to know very basic, you know, very basic veins. They might not just want you, they might not want you to go into details as far as all the veins. Um, it just kind of depends on your teacher. So, um, you so I have brain, thoracic, pelvic here, and then I did leg here as well. So I kind of did a flow chart and this really helped me out a lot. This was really helpful as to understanding um, what goes where and, and what drains into what. Um, and the arm, to be honest with you, was pretty the one that was the most difficult to understand because as you can see here from the basalic vein, um, it turns into the brachial vein and the ulnar and the radial vein turn into a brachial vein and the cephalic vein actually join 
to the auxiliary vein. So, I mean, it's just so much, so much going on in the arm as far as the connections and how they drain um, that that helped out. Anyways, um, comment down below. Let me know how this helped and any questions that you guys might have or any videos that you guys would like me to do, just um, comment down below.